with some more amazing facts. Ooh. In 1871, under his original name, Samuel Clemens, Mark Twain invented and received a patent for the elastic clasp bra strap. His patent said, and I quote, the nature of my invention consists in an adjustable and detachable elastic strap for vests, pantaloons, or other garments requiring straps as will be here and after more fully set forth whatever that means. Micro Latrice is the lightest metal ever made. It's about 99.99% air and is so light that it can literally rest on the top of a dandelion. It's made entirely from metal, but it's 100 times lighter than styrofoam. Australians are the world's biggest meat eaters. They consume about 200 pounds per year, and the United States is right behind them, consuming just under that at 198 pounds a year. That's a whole lot of meat. According to a study published in the South African Journal of Science, traces of cannabis were detected on pipes that were found in William Shakespeare's garden. Scientists examined 24 pipes using advanced gas chromatography methods and found cannabis on eight fragments, four of which were confirmed from the Bard's Garden. The dandelion plant or weed is edible. The leaves can be eaten in a salad or steamed. The flowers are sweet and crunchy and can be eaten breaded, fried, or raw. They can even be used to make wine, and the roots can be dried and roasted and even used as a coffee substitute. There are little tiny holes or pores in chicken and other bird eggs that allow baby birds to breathe in oxygen and get rid of carbon dioxide. A chicken egg has more than 7,000 pores. Prince Charles is actually a descendant of Vlad the Impaler, the cruel 15th century Romanian warlord who helped inspire Bram Stoker's 1897 vampire novel Dracula. In the 1940s, there was a remote control for the garage TV set that was attached to the set with a 20-foot cable. When you pushed the button, yes, there was only one button, the picture was enlarged and the sides, top and bottom, were cropped. There's an animal called a wolfin, which is a cross between a false killer whale and a bottlenose dolphin. Oh -oh. They are hybrids that are believed to live in the wild, but have also been born in captivity. The Nazis had a plot to kill Sir Winston Churchill with a bar of exploding chocolate during the Second World War. Hitler's bomb makers coated explosive devices with a thin layer of dark chocolate and packaged it in expensive looking black and gold paper. But luckily, the plot was foiled by British spies. In 2011, Tom Piercy, a farmer from York, England, created a maze by carving two football field sized portraits of Harry Potter into a cornfield. Wow, somebody needs a hobby. If you have an irrational fear of being near, among, or in the company of teenagers, you have what's called ephibophobia. In ancient Egypt, people were paid for their services in bread and beer. They were also paid in grain, meat, and cloth rations, which were considered the necessities of life. But bread and beer were the most basic of the Egyptian diet. In 2016, the Edral family from Turkey got food poisoning from eating food that was prepared to celebrate getting out of the hospital for, you guessed it, food poisoning. Ancient Greeks valued political participation and collective governance. The term idiot was used in ancient Greece to describe someone who did not contribute to politics or the community. The state of Alaska has over 3 million lakes. In fact, over 86,000 square miles of Alaska are covered by water. Hawks have vision that's about eight times more accurate than humans. They have up to one million photoreceptors in the retina compared to only 200,000 in humans. The first garbage disposal was invented by architect John W. Hames in 1927. He wanted to make cleaning up for the kitchen easier for his wife. What a nice guy. In Fairbanks, Alaska, the Aurora Borealis can be seen an average of 240 nights a year. On those nights, the sky is lit up with colors ranging from yellow and greens to reds, purples, and blues. The black and white patterned undersides of a humpback whale are distinctive for each whale. Ooh. The shape and color patterns on their dorsal fins and flukes are like fingerprints for humans. In 2013, Navy veteran Lonnie Bedwell became the first completely blind kayaker to paddle the entire length of the Grand Canyon, 
226 miles in a solo kayak. It took him 16 days. There are numbers on the lampposts in New York City Central Park to help people navigate where they are if they get lost. The first two or three numbers indicate the closest cross street and the last number indicates what side of town that you're closest to. If you're an odd number, that means you're on the west side. And if you have an even number, that means you're on the east. There's a beaver dam located in Wood Buffalo National Park in Northern Alberta, Canada that is so large it can be seen from outer space. It spans 2,789 feet across. Personal finance website Finder.com has launched a programmable handbag designed to help you monitor and curb your impulsive spending. Using GPS tracking, it can be programmed to lock if you enter your pre-programmed danger zones. It will actually vibrate and flash lights to indicate how many times you've taken out your wallet. Oh, and it will actually flash yellow lights in vibrate every two hours to remind you to put on sunscreen. All of this for a mere $5,000 US, but that's okay, you go treat yourself, girl. Arf! In August of 2016, 323 reindeer were killed with a single lightning strike in the Hardangavida National Park in Norway. They were huddled together because of a heavy storm and were killed because of ground current that had stopped all of their hearts. A man named Mba Gatho of Indonesia claims to be 146 years old and there is a photo of his government ID card to prove it. The card shows his birth date as December 31st, 1870. He has outlived all 10 of his siblings, four wives, and his children. The Lithuanian village of Remigala holds an annual beauty pageant where the contestants are goats. Around 500 people brave the summer heat to attend the parade in honor of the goat, a traditional symbol of the northern village. According to a survey done by Pew Research in 2016 of 1,520 adults living in all 50 states and the District of Columbia, just over one in four people didn't read a single book within the last 12 months. The Great Barrier Reef is the largest living structure on Earth. It spans more than 1,243 miles of islands and submerged reefs. It's located between the Queensland coast and the western edge of the Pacific Ocean. The little brown myotis bat can consume up to 1,000 mosquitoes in one hour. It's hungry and maybe one day it's gonna come for you. Dolphins actually have two stomachs, one for storing food and the other for digesting it. Basically, they're water cows, except way smarter and a little prettier. Dinosaur fossils have been found on every major continent in the world. They've been found in Antarctica, Australia, and India and in the far north of Canada. The Goliath frog is the largest frog in the world. It can reach up to 12.5 inches in length and weigh 7.2 pounds. <laughs> On May 31st, 2014, according to the Guinness World Records, 104 volunteers at the Deer Run Camping Resort in Gardners, Pennsylvania made the largest s'mores ever. It weighed a whopping 267 pounds Get into my mouth! Because camels live in conditions where there is little water, their digestive systems wring their food dry of almost all of its moisture. In fact, their poop is so dry, you can actually use it to start a fire. The pagoda in Japan is the oldest wooden building in the world. It was built using trees from 600 AD. The planet Jupiter has a total of 63 moons that have been discovered to date. Gummy bear candies were originally called dancing bears. Hans Riegel originally created them back in 1920, which were originally made out of licorice. There's a building near Newark in Ohio shaped like a picnic basket. It was built by Dave Longaberger, owner of Longaberger Basket Company, in 1997 to be used as his head office. The United States has had two presidents who were both peanut farmers, Thomas Jefferson and Jimmy Carter. In Tanzania, almost two out of every five girls get married married before they turn 18. That's almost 15 million girls a year. The hagfish has no jaws, no bones in its body, and is able to tie itself into a knot. In August of 2016, the first documented case of twin dogs were born via C-section at Rant on Dahl Animal Hospital in Mongal City, South Africa. To stay cool in hot temperatures, kangaroos lick their arms until their fur and skin 
is sopping wet. The wind hitting their arms causes the saliva to evaporate and cool them off. Movie theaters are forbidden in Saudi Arabia and have been banned since the 1980s. According to Guinness World Records, Anthony Victor from India has the longest ear hair ever. Ah. It measures over seven inches at its longest point. The Chinese have recorded solar eclipse sightings all the way back since 720 BC. The Hamachwand lift in Switzerland is the highest exterior elevator in Europe. It connects a rock path with the lookout point Hamachwand on a plateau overlooking Lake Lucerne. It takes passengers 502 feet up the summit in less than a minute. The slinky was accidentally invented by Richard James. Richard was a naval engineer and while working with tension springs in 1943, discovered that when one of the springs fell, it kept moving. He thought it would make a great toy and the slinky toy was born. Bees in Rebouville, France started producing honey in different shades of blue and green. When the beekeepers investigated, they actually found that instead of collecting nectar from flowers, the bees were feeding on remnants of colored M&M candy shells that were being processed by a plant 2.5 miles away. And there you go. Thank you guys for watching this. If you enjoyed it, maybe you got a smile or learned something, drop a like on this video and subscribe if you haven't yet. Don't forget that I'm going to have a brand new video for you on Monday, 12 West Coast time, 3 Eastern Standard Time. So make sure you come by then. Have a great weekend. Knowledge whale out. Ooh!